Dose. It was very um, independent film. Um, is you know, it's very difficult, but but um, it's getting easier for me because the first film was done now. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually have six. Wow. <laughs> I have six, six. films. <laughs> So seven altogether. So I just completed my second screenplay, and um, I've got to get cracking and get the other ones going. Oh yeah, you're yeah. a busy woman. Yeah. What keeps you going? Um, meditation. Meditation every day. I try to do it every day. I'm actually trying to add a second meditation. I, I do morning, and I'm trying to do an afternoon or evening as well. Okay. Um, Yoga is really good okay. uh, to stay flexible, uh -huh. and I've added in. Um, uh, at my gym, I've been adding um, a, a, a really intense cardio sculpt class, uh, which is, you know, like one of those boot camp classes, and it, it almost kills me every time. And like 45 minutes in, I start to finally like enjoy it a little bit, you know. Uh -huh. But the results are great, and it keeps me. Well, you're in great shape. I, I tell you, you walked in, and I said, who? Is this beautiful, drop dead gorgeous woman? I know you're beautiful. I know how to pay compliments, okay? okay. But you just look too young. <laughs> and you got two? Two grown children. Two, I, I, I can't believe that. My daughter's 22 and my son is 26. And you were what, 20? Yeah. My son, my son poked me. Uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, he was poking me. I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, you can't be my mother. And I was like, but I am, so what can I say? You're too young, mm -hmm. too young. What keeps you young, you think? Staying out of the sun. It's the, oh, yeah, you said that to me. Yeah, I have to remember that, so I don't do the same because I don't put hand in the sun. And I also, no I eat really well. I try to um, only eat organic food, and I don't eat meat. I don't eat um, meat either. Yeah, and I think that helps a lot. You, you don't drink? I drink a little bit. I go okay. back and forth. But like on the tour, I it was an 11-month tour, and a good nine months of that, I didn't have any alcohol at all and no caffeine. Okay. Wow. Um, I found that I needed less caffeine when I stopped drinking. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> because yes. it's a depressant and it tires you out and stuff like that. Alcohol. Um, but um, I come from a long line of of really, you know, like powerful drinkers. My uh -huh. father is very well known for having a. Uh, Your dad is a great actor. And he's stopped. He's, he's now a good actor. And he just, and he's doing so beautifully well, you know, because he had that trouble earlier this year, and uh -huh. he's, or last year, this year. Um, but he's really, I'm so proud of him. He's just, he's, he's um, you love really. You to death. Like yes. I love my father. I die without him. Mm -hmm. I think about him every day. I and we're working on um, a film together. The next film we want to do together, we're actually going to play Father and Daughter. It's a film adaption of Anna Christie, and um, and Estelle Parsons is going to play his girlfriend. It's just going to be, yeah. But, but you see, you read my mind. Uh -huh. when, last night when I was watching your dad, uh -huh. I said, where is Estelle? Yeah. No, where they are, he? they are. Okay. They're so twins. They're dynamite. Oh, yeah. No, they, they and they're so. To happen. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay, oh, good. Yeah. You see, yeah. so I'm on the right track because I said, where is Estelle? Where is she? Yeah. You know. No, they're each other's. They both told me that they're each other's favorite person yeah. on the planet. Yeah, they're so beautiful. And Anna Jackson, I want to bring her. Oh. Oh, she's so cute. She is. I've known her she's since so I was a little girl, and she's really. She's so cute. She came on to shoot our film, and she's like, you know you're nuts. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. She was yeah. wonderful. Yeah. She's cool. She's just got this, uh, oh. da, 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 da. like, the energy she got is just, uh, like, raw. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, in terms of directing, I'm kind of, because you see, I see you're so soft and so easy going. Do you get upset when you, you're like, I want to see you out of control, Angelica? Like, <laughs> Do you really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can handle it, OK? What, what, what makes you upset? What drives I you insane? What drives me insane is when people try to control me. Right. You know, because I'm really soft-spoken and easygoing and gentle. And some people mistake that. A uh -huh. weakness, right? And then when they try to take time. advantage of me, or it, like, especially like, 
um, I find more like in romantic situations, mm -hmm. if a man tries to like check up on me or like, you know, like oh, want to know who, what I'm doing or anything like that, like trying to ownership, you know, it's a, it's a fine line because you want someone to be crazy about you and you want right. someone to only be, you know, but at the same time, so that drives me insane. I don't like, uh, I don't like when people check up on me or like, or they question me, like what, you know, or they, they don't trust me because I, I have nothing to hide. So when right. people like, like think that I'm like, it infuriates me. It drives me crazy. What's your sign? Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. I'm on the cusp, uh, almost on the cusp of Pisces, though. I'm the 17th of February, so uh -huh. I think the cusp is the 19th. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I've had astrologers tell me that um, I'm pretty cuspy. But all my planets are in Aries. Oh, that's why we're here today. <laughs> yeah, I'm cold. Yeah, I, I was born March 27th, and I, I can't. Yeah. I was born the same day that Austin Pendleton was born. I love oh Austin. Oh, my God, I love Austin. That's another boy that oh, yeah. films. You need him there. Yeah. Angelica, I'm yeah. not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you what to do, but. I did a film with him once, but we didn't have any scenes together. We were in the same movie, but not together. But he oh, is just, he directed so me once. I've never acted with him, but he directed me once, and he's. Yeah, he's just one of those really, really, really special people. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. A great teacher, too. Yeah. I love him to death. I, I said, oh, Austin, we were born the same day. I can't believe it. Did you ever study with him? Not the same year, though. <laughs> same day. Let's go and talk to me. I interrupted. Did, did you ever study with him? I did. I did briefly for about, what, seven months. And um, he loves the craft. Austin, he can make you work. But, you know, he threw me off because I remember that I did a scene from uh, St. Joan, Mm -hmm. The French version mm. uh, with um, another guy, and I remember that we just did it, and he just, at the end, he said it was perfect. I'm not bragging. I, I gotta strike me dead. I'm not Angelica, okay? <laughs> um, and I said, Austin, but you're throwing me off here. And right. what do you mean that is? No, I wasn't happy. He said it because right. you know what? I liked. I believe that it's always consistency and work. Sure. It's never ready. Nothing is right. Ever, it's always a never. process, right? Never. Mm -hmm. It's a non-ending process to me. And I remember that he really hit me hard when he said it was. I don't want to see the scene again. Hmm. And I, I was like, what? What do you mean you don't want to see the scene again? Right. Oh, yeah, he really threw me off that day. I, I, you know, I gotta tell you, he threw <laughs> me off because I'm so used to work as an actor. Yeah. I gotta keep going on right. and right. on and right. on, and it's never perfect. Right. It's it can always never. be better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, but he says, he says, sometimes you know. Sometimes you're sometimes done. Sometimes you, yeah. That's why he said, and you have to learn to accept it, hmm. and you have to learn to, you know. To Move just, on. Yeah, yeah, to let it go. What did you work on after that? Uh, after that, no, I just, you know, I have to leave him alone. I have to go. <laughs> I have to leave him alone. I, I, I'm doing this live show once a week, and I'm writing, and I'm rehearsing, and I'm working my high knee off. I have no time to go to Austin. Yeah. Okay? It was it, crazy. It was like two years ago. I miss him to death. I love him. I want to bring him on the show. Yeah. Okay? We're going to have a blast. He's a funny guy, too. Yes. When I saw him in Mother Courage. You see that play? No, I didn't see oh it. I was away during that time, God. but I heard about it. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. he blew that stage. Oh, oh my God, with Middle Street, when he's just chopping that wood. He did this one moment um, in this play. It was um, oh, Ethan Hawke's company. Uh, Cynthia Nixon was in. It. I think it was a parent. Uh, it was a joke. Was the name of the play. Uh -huh. And he had this moment where he picked up a chair to smash it over someone's head or back, whatever he was going to do with it. It seemed like he was going to just smash, smash them across the face with a chair. And he stood there with the chair up over his head for such a long time, completely still. And we watched him decide whether he was going to do it or not. And then he put the chair down. And it was just, Beautiful. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I can see it. I can see Austin now. You're so present, you're so, well, uh, Angelica, you are like, um, I don't know, you just, what, are we, are we going? Are we going where? <laughs> oh my God, where is that music coming from? Are we, are we going home? Oh, it's so hard. Oh, you I'll see? come back. I told you, Angelica, it goes really fast. This is such a blessing. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming to my show. I think you're exquisite, mm -hmm. and I love you. I adore you. Mm -hmm. I think you are one of the greatest actors ever lived. I want to see your work. Bring Michael Arnold Ella. to your films. You have to. You must. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> I, know what, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm coming from. Yeah, we're, we're done. We're out? That's it? <laughs> I, I can't believe it. You see, this is like... 
I can't That's believe it. We keep on. Yeah. I can't. We keep yeah. watching the credits, and yeah, we keep <laughs> on. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Thank you to all my sponsors: the Nico's Coffee Shop, Madonna's Brothers Bakery, and Your Vitamins. And thank you, uh, Gloria Messer thank and Rebecca. And my uh, my face is age. <laughs> yes, Charles. Keep me on. Check the website. Keep working. Keep reading. Keep acting. Keep living. Keep dreaming. Never give up. Never give up. And yeah, I'm a Democrat. Okay. And I love Obama. Give him a break. Just give me a break, please do. Um, was it? That's it. Are we are still on?